Namaste to one and all present here. Today, I, Shan Bhatta, and my partner Vinayak Bansal will present our views on the topic NEP on students' perspective. NEP refers to the new education policy promoted by the Union Cabinet on 29th July. The policy changes the existing policy of 10 plus 2 structure to 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4, which promotes Anganwadi schools, kindergarten, middle school, as well as secondary schools. NEP outlines the vision of India's new education system. NEP replaces the policy of 1986. The policy is a comprehensive framework of elementary education to higher education. NEP on students' perspective. Students' opinion matters the most. According to me, the policy shares both positive as well as negative aspects. Though the children are allowed to speak their mother tongue, but if we refer to the ratio of teachers to students, there is a lot of difference. A single teacher cannot manage to teach many languages. But there was a need to change the existing policy of 10 plus 2 structure to 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 to make the students stress free. According to some researches, it's being noticed that even therapists would be appointed to NEP also offers diversity in courses rather than just arts, science and commerce. Students are free to choose any combination and even mix up the typical combination. The 10 plus 2 structure is replaced with 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 making it kindergarten, primary, middle school and secondary school. As the opinion regarding NEP has been recorded by either politicians, educationists as well as ideologists but the perspective of students has not been recorded and the thinking of the generation is not clear. So there is an upcoming interview recorded by one of the students regarding what they think about NEP. Namaste everyone, I am Tarshi Sabra and today I am going to share my views on the new education policy of 2020. After 34 years, there is a change in the education system of India with the introduction of the new education policy 2020. Like all other policies, NEP 2020 also has its share of positives and negatives. According to me, the foremost advantage of this policy is that with the help of NEP 2020 devised by the government of India, education will be available to everyone in the country from preschool to the secondary school. Secondly, the existing 10 plus 2 structure will be replaced by 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 structure which will focus on the formative years of learning of the student. And according to me, the third salient feature of this policy is that the Baal Bhavans will be established in every state and this will be a boarding school uh, which will allow the students to take part in art, play and other career related activities. So now, let's see who proposed NEP. The NEP 2020 replaces the National Policy on Education of 1986. In January 2015, a committee under former Cabinet Secretary T.S.R. Subramaniam started the consultation process for the new education policy. The education policy of 1986 has now changed by providing the draft in 2019, which would be implemented soon in upcoming years and the draft has been put in forth by the ISRO chief Krishneswami Kasturi Rangan. NEP 2020 Beneficial or Failure The government aims to make schooling available to everyone with NEP 2020. Approximately 2 crore school students will be able to come back to educational institutes. According to the NEP 2020, students willing to complete their graduation have to study for 4 years while one can easily complete his or her diploma degree in 2 years. This might encourage the pupil to leave the course midway. How gradually schools will adopt NEP? With the students, it would also be difficult for the school authorities to adopt NEP. Will their concerns increase or they will be same as earlier? But NEP satisfies the concerns of the children as well as aims to make the country a progressive one. We all hope this policy brings a positive change 
and Alan Bloom once said, education is the movement from darkness to light.